Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Oh, I've just noticed I've not got my wedding ring on. I'm still married. Um, <laughs> hi guys, hope you're all okay. Uh, today I have a very chilly willy Katie. Um, I've got an Asda food haul to share with you. It's not great. It's not horrendous, but it's slightly disappointing. Um, my receipt is for £90.67p. However, a couple bits have gone back. Some of it was my fault. Oh no, no, it wasn't my fault. Mm, kind of my fault. I don't have. I'll get to it. Uh, multiple substitutions, multiple items um, not available without, and there is no suitable substitution. Uh, yeah, and I'm all itchy. And the delivery driver was lovely, but he kept on chatting, and like my front door's open. I'm like, Ugh, cold. But it was really nice and I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. So, um, things I sent back. So I ordered a multi-pack of Haribo. They substitute it for Malwam lolly stick things, um, which is not suitable for a Reuben. So that went back. I ordered a lasagna. They substituted it for a giant frozen one. Like, it was huge. Uh, and like technically worth more money than the one I ordered but it was literally it was too there's no way I'd fit it in my freezer even if my freezer was empty I think it would probably take up a whole drawer it was just huge so yeah that had to go back because I can't I can't store it um the guy did joke oh it's that cold you could probably leave it outside and cook it tonight <laughs> but yeah so that went back um this week at our toddler club they are doing collection for or they're putting together homeless packs for for the homeless people in our community for over the winter period or the christmas period um and there was very very strict lists on things that you could buy and things that you couldn't buy um so there's not anything for the food bank this week because i ordered things for the homeless list because that's what they requested. Um, unfortunately, that is mostly for things that have not come. Um, when I say there was very strict things, so like you weren't allowed to buy mouthwash or um, you weren't allowed to buy like paracetamols or ibuprofen. Um, you weren't allowed to buy anything that was individually worth more than five pounds um i don't quite know why that that rule but yeah there was rules of things you weren't allowed to but obviously and the, the mouthwash was for the alcohol content apparently and um the pain like ibuprofen or paracetamol for um i suppose they might try and hurt themselves with them um but yeah, like if you're going to buy a scarf or something, you weren't to spend over a certain amount. Um, but yeah, but the things that were on the list that I did try and order. So I ordered some toothpaste. It's not come. I've ordered some toothbrushes. It's not come. Luckily, I picked some up from Wilco and Poundland. So I have got some for the donation, but I wanted to do more. They've not come. I ordered three boxes of plasters, only one has come. I ordered some safety razors, none of those have come. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, but I imagine maybe lots of people are ordering that. Maybe there are other parts of the community that are doing that kind of thing at the moment and that's why they're out of stock. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the things that didn't come. Oh, no, and the other thing is I ordered some um, edamame bean and broccoli stir-fry. That was not available and there was no suitable substitution stir-fry. So I've got noodles and things to make stir-fry, but no veg. Um, but we can get around that. So, yeah, I kept everything else. I'm rambling. Let's show you what I've got. Okay, there we go. So we have... The Father Christmas Coca-Cola. <laughs> Four bottles of Coke Zero. Um, these will make Ruben so happy. Edible eyes for gingerbread men and things over Christmas. Um, I got some 
chicken, the extra special chicken gravy granules. Got a Lloyd Grossman pasta sauce in tomato and roasted garlic. And then because there's never enough garlic in the la in life, I got some of the lazy garlic stuff. There's always some of this in, in our fridge. Blimmin' love it. Um, I got eight flannels to go in the homeless packs. As I said, I ordered multiple ones of the plasters. They only sent me one. Um, they did, however, get this one. This is a bought three lots of the towels. Um, Krispies. Got Ruben a couple of Lunchables. Uh, it seems that the kids at his preschool that he's been going to has these and Ruben very much likes them um he's had them before on play dates and stuff but apparently they're very popular and and Ruben has been refusing his lunch and trying to help himself to other people's lunch so we got him a couple of those um some blue milk some yogurt oh bear with me I've got a Darwin sorry Darwin was tapping to go out yep we got some fromage for yogurt we got some apples. There's the noodles to go with the stir fry. Um, I think I've got some frozen broccoli in the freezer. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll make it work. It's going to be fine. Um, oh, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, I ordered an eight pack of cheese strings. They've sent me two packs of four, so that's fine. I got the reindeer shaped crumpets. Oh, Reuben loved the ones we had at Halloween. Um, and I think we had ghosts at Halloween and we had bunnies at Easter. So he finds them funny. So, you know, it's going to be good. Got those. Got two packets of mushrooms. Uh, mince pies. Some Mr. Kipling festive bakewells. And these look yum. Because I can't do mince pies, but this this I can do. Spiced almond front that word. They just taste like taste like marzipan from memory. But yeah. To me, that sounds yum yum yum. So got some of those. Um carrots, because they're still a rather successful snack for Mr. Reuben. We are into carrots at the moment. Apparently they're <laughs> again. Um, at his little preschool they're like pushing carrots as reindeer food at the moment so um, apparently the kids are really liking them Reuben's liked carrots for a while but yeah raw carrot is a good snack for Mr Reuben at the moment we have a cucumber some chocolate orange minis some ham a giant tub of custard Pringles John's favourite the salt and vinegar I am basic. I like the ready salted. Uh, we got some prawn crackers, some spinach. Oh, this one was a substitution. I ordered the little bag. They sent me the big bag. Absolutely fine. Uh, we got two lots of katsu curry stir fry sauce. Two bags of pretzels. I'm going to attempt. To make chocolate reindeers that everyone on Instagram seems to be making. Where you use pretzels for the, the antlers. I'm going to attempt to do some of those. Uh, I've got some puff pastry. It's a substitute. I ordered, I think I ordered Just Roll puff pastry. They sent me Asda brand. It's absolutely fine. Two packs of those. I've got some bagel thins. We've got some jacket potatoes. Uh, some breaded chicken goujons, a boneless chicken joint, some chicken thighs for the pups. It's surprising how packaging seems to vary. Some weeks it comes like this, some weeks it comes in the bag, but it's always the same price, so it's fine. Um, we've got some smoked bacon, some chicken breasts. I've got some more orange chocolate the maltesers were substitution i ordered a festive malteser centerpiece um and they sent me this this is the same price but there's like 150 grams less chocolate in it but it will do um we've got some turkey dinosaurs some uh caramelized onion chutney some potato waffles red onions some egg fried rice and a sweet and sour sauce 
that's this week's shopping. Um, say so it doesn't feel like ninety pounds worth of groceries, and I think you definitely have to shop the offers and the deals to feel like you're getting the volume for your money. Um, <coughs> whereas this week, uh, we've kind of obviously it's not ninety pounds because I'm going to get the lasagna refunded and whatever the other thing was I sent back refunded. Um, so it's probably more like. I think the lasagna was like eight quid, might have been six quid. Um, so it's gonna it's like eighty eighty five quids worth of shopping or whatever. Um, but yeah, I kind of shopped a bit more for convenience this week because we have a busy one. Um I've got my Christmas due Wednesday, and then one of John's clubs have got their Christmas due the day after. Um we have a thing with John's parents at the weekend. Ruben is meeting the reindeers at the weekend. Um, and then John's got a thing where he's got to go out on Monday night. So it's all kind of... And there's different bits and bobs that we've kind of booked in. And then there's like carol service and stuff. So it's like either we're out for dinner or we need a quick dinner. Because it's either we've got to come home late and we need to turn tea around quickly for everybody. Or come home quick tea and go out again so it's one of those weeks where you've kind of got to make it fit for the plan um it's also i've got about a thousand things to wrap because i have pretty much finished shopping but i haven't wrapped a thing yet um so yeah i need to stop i need i just need to get stuff done otherwise we're not going to be ready the tower of amazon boxes just needs to be sorted out but yeah, meal plan this week. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lasagna, but there isn't. Uh, we're going to do sweet and sour chicken. I have got fish in the freezer. I've got meatballs that I made from... Um, I'd had mince the other week. I made meatballs. I froze half. So I'll defrost those, do them with the sauce. Um, I've already got pasta in the cupboard. Uh, I was going to do a chicken... The breaded chicken with the katsu curry stir fry. I'll make that work. Um, the bacon is going to be with mushrooms and peas and risotto. Um, I thought I ordered chicken stock, but there's no chicken stock here. Uh, um, I'm going to do jacket potatoes and chilli. And I don't know. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. But yeah, that is this week's shopping. Next shopping is the shopping before Christmas. But because of the way I upload it, I think it'll go up. Boxing Day because that's how my uploads seem to work or might even be the week after I don't know I'm all kerfuffled I'm all kerfuffled but yeah it'll all work it'll be fine but I hope you're all doing well I hope you are um, staying away from all these awful germs that are out and about at the moment some of them are sounding very scary um, so yeah I hope you're able to keep yourself warm um, it's chilly willy out there we had some a sprinkling of snow and Cornwall never gets snow so if we've got a sprinkling of snow I imagine the rest of the country is bitter um bitterly cold but yeah I hope you're all doing well stay safe guys take care talk to you in the next one bye